name's Ted Kenny, and I'm the Friali uh, Digital Director of Production, and I also produce and direct for us. Uh, approximately six years. Uh, I got a phone call in 2006, uh, 2005, 2006, to actually go on the road with YouTube. down to 3D, 3D is 3D. It's, it's how you treat 3D. You know, how are you going to use the space? How are you going to use the language that you're trying to convey to the audience? In sports, you want to, in any 3D, you sort of want to live longer and, and have an enjoyable experience and put someone in the seat. For animation and for other things, you certainly really can push the button a little more and actually uh, push the boundaries. And, and certainly we see that with DreamWorks Great Work in 3D. They're, they're a big proponent of 3D and they're actually setting a new language for us. Uh, but ultimately, 3D in general is something that you just have to sort of protect and craft and, and create this new language and protect people for watching it so they actually enjoy the experience. The big thing in this industry is we need to share information. We need to train people to share the information. So if I do something today with 3D and you want to shoot tomorrow, I want to be able to share that information with you with what works and what doesn't work. And that's, that's in general in TV production, we share a lot. But there are some people, you know, we all work in production, there are some people who will tell you, you know, how much something costs or how it works. But I think for 3D to, to live past today and tomorrow, we have to be able to share with each other what works and what doesn't. The biggest challenge is that people are going to just go out and get any camera and decide to shoot without any pre-production, or knowledge of what is safe 3D versus not safe 3D. There needs to be a standard in the future of what makes good 3D viewable by the public. Because if you don't do that, you're gonna, again, you're gonna hurt people's eyes. Our eyes aren't accustomed to doing some of the things that people are putting out in the marketplace. What is the long-term effect of that on our eyes? I don't know. That's something that needs to be discussed, but ultimately there needs to be standards. And uh, you know, there's a concern of all the, and I'm not saying, I don't want to say hobbyists, but people are just throwing stuff together and not understanding really what 3D means and what the difference is between two images. And so, again, that could lead back to training and sharing information and technology so other people understand it so that we all protect each other.